We live in an era of unprecedented technological advancement. Artificial intelligence, or AI, is rapidly transforming our world. From self-driving cars to personalized medicine, AI is poised to revolutionize countless aspects of our lives. The human mind has always been fascinated by the possibility of creating machines that can think and learn like us. Now, that dream is closer than ever to becoming a reality. AI has already surpassed human capabilities in many domains. Algorithms can analyze vast data sets, identify patterns, and make predictions with remarkable accuracy. This has led to breakthroughs in fields like image recognition, natural language processing, and drug discovery. The possibilities seem endless, and the future of AI is brimming with potential. However, amid this technological triumph, a fundamental limitation remains. The foundation of our current AI systems lies in silicon-based chips. These chips, while marvels of engineering, are reaching their physical limits. They consume enormous amounts of energy and struggle to replicate the complexity and efficiency of the human brain. To unlock the full potential of AI, we must look beyond silicon. We must turn to the blueprint of life itself. Silicon has been the workhorse of the digital revolution. It forms the backbone of our computers, smartphones, and countless other electronic devices. However, as we demand more from our technology, silicon is approaching its fundamental limits. Transistors, the tiny switches that process information in computers, are becoming so small that they are nearing the size of atoms. At these scales, quantum effects begin to interfere with their operation, leading to inefficiencies and instability. Furthermore, the energy consumption of traditional computers is a growing concern. Data centers, the heart of our digital world, consume vast amounts of electricity, contributing significantly to global energy consumption. To create truly intelligent machines that can solve complex problems and power our future, we need a new paradigm. Life in its infinite complexity, offers a compelling alternative to silicon. Biological systems, honed by billions of years of evolution, are remarkably efficient and adaptable. They operate at the molecular level, processing information and performing tasks with unparalleled precision and minimal energy consumption. At the heart of this biological marvel lies DNA. The blueprint of life. DNA stores an immense amount of information in its intricate structure. The sequence of its four base pairs encodes the instructions for building and operating every living organism. This biological code is far more complex and efficient than anything we have ever created with silicon. Harnessing the power of DNA and other biological molecules has the potential to revolutionize computing. Biocomputing represents a paradigm shift in computing, moving away from silicon and embracing the power of living cells. Instead of relying on transistors and electrical circuits, biocomputers utilize the remarkable processing power of biological systems. One promising avenue in biocomputing involves the use of organoids, tiny, self-organized clusters of cells that mimic the structure and function of organs. Organoids are derived from stem cells and can be coaxed into forming miniature versions of brains, livers, hearts, and other organs. These mini-brains, while not possessing consciousness or thoughts, exhibit some of the computational abilities of their full-sized counterparts. They can form neural connections, process information, and even learn in a rudimentary way. Section 5. 
Final Spark Pioneering the Future of Thought At the forefront of this biocomputing revolution is Final Spark, a company pushing the boundaries of what's possible with living computers. Final Spark has developed a groundbreaking platform that utilizes organoids to perform computations. Their system cultures neurons on a microelectrode array, allowing researchers to monitor and stimulate the electrical activity of these cells. This creates a powerful interface between biological and digital systems, enabling the development of entirely new types of computing devices. Final Spark's biocomputers are not science fiction. They are a tangible reality. The company has already demonstrated the potential of their technology, showing that organoids can be trained to perform simple tasks, such as recognizing patterns and controlling robotic arms. The implications of this work are profound, opening the door to a future where living cells power our most advanced computing devices. Section 6. Energy Efficiency – A Biological Advantage One of the most compelling advantages of biocomputing is its potential for unparalleled energy efficiency. Biological systems have evolved to operate with remarkable frugality, utilizing energy sources far more efficiently than our current silicon-based computers. For instance, the human brain, capable of performing incredibly complex computations, consumes only about 20 watts of power, roughly the same as a standard light bulb. In contrast, data centers, the backbone of our digital infrastructure, consume staggering amounts of energy, often requiring dedicated power plants to operate. Biocomputers offer a glimmer of hope in a world grappling with climate change and resource scarcity. By harnessing the energy efficiency of biological systems, we can create a more sustainable computing future. Section 7. Universities Embracing Biocomputing The groundbreaking potential of Final Spark's biocomputers has not gone unnoticed. Leading universities and research institutions worldwide have partnered with the company to explore the vast possibilities of this technology. Researchers are utilizing Final Spark's platform to study brain development, model neurological diseases, and develop new drugs. For example, scientists at Cortical Labs in Australia are using Final Spark's technology to grow human neurons in a dish and teach them to play the classic video game Pong. This remarkable feat demonstrates the learning and adaptive capabilities of these biological systems, highlighting their potential for complex computations. As more researchers gain access to Final Spark's biocomputers, we can expect an explosion of innovation in this field. Section 8 The Challenges of a Living Computer while biocomputing holds immense promise, it is not without its challenges. One of the primary hurdles is the inherent complexity and unpredictability of biological systems. Living cells are dynamic and constantly evolving, making it difficult to control their behavior with the same precision as silicon transistors. Additionally, Maintaining the long-term viability and stability of organoids outside of the body poses a significant engineering challenge. Furthermore, ethical considerations surrounding the use of living cells for computation need careful examination. As we develop increasingly sophisticated biocomputers, questions about sentience, consciousness, and the potential for suffering in these systems will inevitably arise. Addressing these ethical concerns proactively is crucial for the responsible development and deployment of biocomputing technologies. Section 9. Beyond Organoids. Exploring Cellular and Fungal Networks. While organoids represent a promising avenue in biocomputing, 
other approaches leverage the computational abilities of different biological systems. Cellular computing, for example, utilizes individual cells, such as bacteria or yeast, as computational units. Researchers can engineer these cells to perform specific tasks, such as detecting toxins in the environment or producing biofuels. Another intriguing area of exploration is the use of fungal networks, also known as mycelia. These vast, interconnected networks of fungal threads exhibit surprisingly sophisticated computational abilities. Researchers are investigating how mycelia can be used to solve complex problems, such as optimizing transportation networks or designing new materials. Section 10 Merging Minds and Machines the convergence of biology and technology extends beyond biocomputing. Brain-computer interfaces, or BCIs, represent another frontier in this biodigital revolution. BCIs create a direct communication pathway between the human brain and external devices, allowing individuals to control computers, prosthetics, or even avatars with their thoughts. While still in its early stages, BCI technology has the potential to transform the lives of people with disabilities, restoring lost function and enhancing human capabilities. As our understanding of the brain advances and BCI technology matures, we can expect seamless integration between our minds and machines, blurring the lines between the biological and the digital. Section 11, the dawn of a biodigital era. We stand at the cusp of a new era, where the boundaries between the digital and biological worlds are dissolving. Biocomputing, with its potential for unparalleled efficiency, adaptability, and computational power, is poised to revolutionize our world in ways we are only beginning to imagine. From personalized medicine and drug discovery to climate modeling and artificial intelligence, the applications of biocomputing are vast and transformative. As we continue to unravel the mysteries of life and harness the power of biological systems, we embark on a journey that will redefine our relationship with technology. In this biodigital future, Living cells will no longer be confined to petri dishes, but will power our most advanced devices, offering solutions to some of humanity's grandest challenges. The future of computing is alive, and it is brimming with possibilities. <laughs>